Hi everyone. In this video I will go over all the options in the preflop menu. To get to the preflop menu for the out of position player, click the top icon here. And for the in position player, click here. To enter a range, you can use the drag bar to set the top percentage. And with the red slider, you can remove hands from the range. The ranking that is used for the slider can be set with the drop down here. If you want to apply a weight to some of your hands, then you can enter the desired weight here. Or you can use your mouse slider to increase or decrease the weight. After setting your weight, you can click in the matrix to assign the selected weight. If your range has weights, then there's two display methods for visualizing these weights. Display method 1 will use a lower intensity for hands with lower weights. And display method 2 will use a bar to indicate the size of the weight. To see the weight for a hand, mouse over it. And the weight will be displayed in the right. And hands that have the exact identical weight will light up in purple. If you want to apply a specific suit to a hand, then click on Suit Selection. For example, I want to set that all suited aces are either hearts or clubs. And now, select in the matrix to which hands you want to apply these suits. To select multiple hands, press your mouse button down and mouse over everything that you want to select. A yellow triangle will indicate to which hands you want to apply the suits. Now, click on Apply Current Selection to set the desired suits. And if I now mouse over the suited aces, then we see that indeed they have a weight of 50% for all hearts and clubs. If you have a range and you'd like to store it for later use, then you can do so in the Predef menu. To store a range that you have in the matrix, simply click on Add Range. And in the name for the range, accept, and your range is now added at the bottom of the list of ranges. If you want the range to be placed anywhere else in the list, then just drag and drop it. If you want to create a category that contains multiple ranges, then select Add Category. And you can drag and drop any ranges that you like into your category. To drop a range into a category, mouse over it, and then mouse over the Insert icon. A category can also be given a subcategory. For this, left-click the category to select it, and then click on Add Category. And a subcategory is now added. I will again just move our range into it by dragging and dropping it. To change the name of a range or category, left click it to select it and click on Rename. If you want to use a different color for your range or category, then left click it to select it and select the desired color. To delete a range or category, left click it to select it and click on Delete. And if you want this menu to be larger, then click on the small triangle here. It's also possible to create a grouped range in the Predef menu. For this, first enter the full range. And after this, select Apply Groups to Selection. Here you can select the group and click in the matrix to assign hands to that group. If you want a hand to be a mix of multiple groups, then drag the groups that you want to use into the bar below the menu. After that, click on the bar to set the desired distribution. And any hand that you click now will be assigned to that distribution of groups. To now add the grouped range to the pre-devs, click on Add Range. And the entire grouped range is added to the pre-devs. The main range is on top, with the separate groups below it. If I mouse over the range, then the distribution in the groups is shown in a pop-up. And if I mouse over one of the groups, then that group will be shown in the matrix. If you want to give a group a different name, then left-click it and select Rename. 
Should you not be happy with the colors for the groups, then you can also set your own custom colors. For this, click on the Options button. And you can use RGB codes to set the desired color for each group. To get RGB codes, just search on Google for the term RGB codes. To set a default name for a group, just enter that name here. And the default name for that group has now been updated. Incidentally, these same colors are also used for the text colors. So if you click on any range or category, then the available colors that you can set for the text are the same as the group colors. To load a range that you have stored to the pre-devs, simply double-click it to load it. It's also possible to add ranges together. For this, hold Ctrl while double-clicking a range. So let's say that you want to load the first two ranges of this grouped range. For this, just load the first range by double-clicking it. And now press Ctrl and double-click the second range. And it will be added to the first range. Similarly, you can press Shift to subtract ranges. So if I load the main range, and I want to subtract the third group from it, then press Shift while double-clicking the third group. And the third group has now been removed from the range. If you want to enter a range, then it's of course also possible to use text input. Should your range be in a format from another program, then when you enter it, it will be automatically converted to our format. The ranges for GTO Plus are stored in the file config new 3txt Most likely the full directory for this file will be program files GTO config. If you ever want to transfer your ranges to another computer, then just copy this file to the other computer. You can also import ranges from Flopzilla V1, Flopzilla Pro, CREF, PIO, and some other formats. For this, go to Settings, Import Preflop Ranges. Here, select the type of ranges that you want to import. The first option is for PIO, Manker, and some others. The second option is for CREF and Flopzilla V1. And the third option is for GTO Plus and Flopzilla Pro. For PIO, Manker, Other, just select the first option, click on Import Ranges, and select the directory where the ranges are located. For CREF and Flopzilla V1, this will be similar. For them, the ranges are stored in a new devs2.txt file. This file can be found in the same directory as their exe file. If you need this directory, but you don't know where it is, then just right-click the icon on your desktop and select Open File Location. And for GTO Plus and Flopzilla Pro, this directory will be their config subdirectory. Now, I won't demonstrate this for all these programs, but I'll just do it for Flopzilla Pro. So for Flopzilla Pro, Select the third option, click on Import Ranges, navigate to the directory with Flopzilla Pro. So for Flopzilla Pro, the range file will be in its config subdirectory. And here is the new devs3.txt file that we need. And there we are. We have now successfully imported Flopzilla Pro's ranges. And if we go to the preflop menu, then we can see that they have now been copied there. So, that's it for this video on the preflop menu. I hope that you enjoyed this video.